The world is an awful place. Poverty, coronavirus, Tories, climate change, the mere existence of James Corden. Sometimes it can get quite exhausting bearing the burden of knowing that the world is going to shit and there's nothing you can do about it. Or is there? Maybe if you spread awareness and share that BuzzFeed made infographic on your Instagram story, you can be an agent of change. You can make the world a better place. Can reposting on social media save the world? No. Okay, so it's probably not fair for me to say that the world's an awful place and you can't help change it without at least explaining myself. So buckle up. Let's get controversial and talk about social media. Think about everyone you follow on Instagram. Do you follow anyone who's a Nazi? Do you follow anyone who's right-wing? Do you follow anyone who has opposing political and social beliefs to you? Probably not. Because most of us use social media to follow friends and people who we admire, and generally our friends and people who we admire have similar or the same political beliefs that we do. So what you don't realise is that when you see an infographic that matches your political beliefs, you're likely sharing it to a bunch of people who already agree with what you're saying or are aware of the issue. The likelihood of getting this opinion to someone whose mind it could actually change is very small. Plus, political and social beliefs are so strongly held and it's ridiculously unlikely that they will be changed by a social media post anyway. Sure, you could just follow a bunch of people with opposing views to you, but be careful, the Jersey Eagle did that and we all know how that turned out. <coughs> Plus, you've got to be aware that after a while you may be responsible for something called activists' burnout in your friends and followers, because at the end of the day, constant exposure to what an awful place the world is leads to exhaustion, which leads to nihilism, which ultimately leads to doomerism. If you want to see genuine social change, contact the people who can make that happen, target your anger in the right direction, at the people who caused it. Nothing will change until people in power make it happen, and posting on your Instagram story does absolutely nothing to help that. There is an opportunity for change in the world, but you've got to get off Twitter to make it happen.